I said I'm a 15 year two time breast cancer survivor and so with every step that I walk, with every person that I register, with every dollar of, of donation that I raise, it puts us closer and closer to the goal. I have so many great role models in terms of how people have come through the disease. I've seen the disease take people away. It's more to me than a job. It is, it is, um, it's a ministry. It's who I am, really, to be able to help in this way. I've personally been a volunteer for Coleman Detroit um, for the past three years as the um, person that started the Metastatic Breast Cancer Committee and also the Young Survivor Committee. Being stage four means I have to try different drugs and they stop working, I have to go on a new treatment. So the fact that they've been able to provide funding for different um, medications and treatments is um, directly impacting me personally. Because of the funds that we get from Coleman, these women are allowed to get their screening at absolute no cost to them. You know, it, it, it's a great help to really uh, share information about breast cancer, what it is, what are the risk factors, what are the myths that people believe about breast cancer, that we try to dispel those myths. We work very hard to, to talk about that and, and do that. Susan G. Coleman has always been an event, a huge event, an event to go to, an event to be a part of. When we were pulling this program together, um, an individual, oh my God, I don't know if I can talk about it. Um, she had been a, uh, she had, she had been a part of Sisters Network, and we were both founding members, and she had just shared that she had a reoccurrence. But she came to our training, and I was thinking, wonder again if I could have that same perspective. She came, she delivered the program, and then shortly thereafter she passed. But she did it gloriously. She did it with, uh, with confidence and, and love and caring for her community. And oh my gosh, I, I told her always, I have said to her that she was my hero, but she was a hero for real. Although we still have a ways to go and we still are losing too many people to this disease, it's extremely, um, hopeful and encouraging to me to see so many people in our area that are constantly um, putting their heart and soul into this organization. What makes this such an exceptional program is the fact that if you need moral support or you need navigating, you need help with your appointments or somebody to talk to about it, all those resources are made available through the funds that we get. The Witness Project of Detroit couldn't do what we do without uh, Komen dollars and Komen funding. And to think about that they've been in existence and helping for 25 years is just amazing to me. You probably picked the wrong one, breast cancer, because we're gonna beat this and we're going to be in a world without cancer. Komen Race for the Cure is racing for the cure, you know, and um, it allows people to come and express the love and care for, for loved ones they've lost. This event will continue to grow um, because the work that Coleman is doing is growing. And so um, I'm just excited to be a part of it. Yeah, I feel pretty honored to be a part of it.